Okay, let's look at <clears throat> example 18.6. Um, let's see. What is the magnitude of the force exerted by the water on the dam? So here we have a dam, a dam wall, and here's this body of water, and of course uh, there is pressure in this. This water is exerting a, a pressure, and what we want to do is we want to calculate what is the magnitude of the force exerted by this water on this wall. Okay, and the, so this is basically an example of how we can of how hydrostatic pressure works, right? So if we want to calculate the force of the water on the wall, right, the, the first place that you would just say start is you would say, well, if, okay, force is pressure times area. Okay, so the pressure multiplied by the length and the height. Okay, so that's the surface area. And we calculate the pressure, we multiply by that area, we get the force. But it's not so simple because the pressure is not constant. The pressure changes as you go down from the surface and you go deeper and deeper, the pressure changes linearly. Okay? And here is a graph of that. So uh, if we put our y axis over there, get this right, we put our y axis over there, and h is the height of the water, and 0 is at the base of the, of the dam, the bottom of the water. Then, as we move from height down to zero, guys, height down to zero, height down to zero, the pressure should increase, right? As you go down, the pressure should increase. So as we, as we move from H to zero, the pressure increases linearly. But then what is the pressure over here outside? It has to be atmospheric pressure. Okay? So, so the point is this. That P, the pressure, is a function of height. So as you change your height, as you change the Y value, your pressure changes. Okay? And so the, the total force is then, is a is a function of uh, the changing pressure. So your force also changes as you change your height. So F is also a function of height. Okay? So what can we do? Well, we can use calculus and use integration and divide this surface area into these differential strips. dy times L. So we have, we have a a differential area which is the length right length and then the height will be dy okay and then on each of these areas we calculate the force df okay so we calculate the force at the bottom and we and we integrate over this entire height okay so we calculate uh, the force at the bottom and then at the just above it and above it and we and we calculate the force and we go all the way up to the top and we and we add up all those forces right this is a very simplified idea of integration so the total force acting on that wall is the sum the integral of all the d f w the the df's okay we calculate the differential force on each of these each of these strips okay and we add them up and that becomes the total force right the integral of df okay okay that is my best attempt at teaching you calculus okay so what we need is we need we need a description for that pressure. Okay, so PY <clears throat> is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus, remember, remember what we were saying is that if there's the surface of the water and we want to find what the pressure is over there, it's equal to, to the pressure over there plus 
rho g d, where d is that depth, right? So the pressure, the pressure at any depth, right, say at that depth there, is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus rho g d, where d is simply that height minus whatever that whatever y is. So as you can see, y is the variable. Okay? Y is that variable. So so that the d is then the height minus y. And so this is the expression for pressure as a function of height. Okay? Are you guys happy with that? Okay? And we saw earlier that the differential area is L times dy. So now we want let's get back to this. The total force acting on the dam by the water, WD, is the is the sum, the integral of all the little uh, uh, differential forces acting on all those differential elements. And um, it's equal to this. It's equal to the integral of PY times DA. Okay, remember I said force is pressure times area. But because P is varying, it is the integral it is P as a function of Y times DA. Okay? Pressure times area. Pressure times area. Now what is PY? This is PY. And what is DA? DA is L D Y. So we plug those two guys in and we let's see. Let's rewrite this. So we get PY is then P atmosphere plus rho G H minus rho G Y. Okay. I just took this, multiplied it out, and I put it in there. And then we have to multiply this entire thing by L, and we can take L out to the front because it's a constant, and we have dy. So we integrate this whole guy with respect to, to y, and I don't have time now, I've already taken up a lot of your time, we get this term over here. So make sure that you can do that integral, it's very simple actually. Now, so the total force, this is the point, the total force is made up of these two terms. The total force, if there's the, the wall, and here's the water, the total force of the water acting on the dam wall is made up of two terms, P atmosphere times LH. What is that? P atmosphere times LH is just the atmospheric pressure multiplied over the surface, the total surface. But it's on this side, right? It's acting, it is a, being applied through the water onto this surface. Okay, that's the one term. And then the other term is is rho g h we've seen that before remember remember p1 is p2 plus rho g h which is simply the the pressure at the top plus this gravitational component and um where does this half come from okay so it says here the second term the remaining term l h remember l h is the surface area of the dam wall Okay, so the remaining term, LH times half rho GH, is the product of the area of the face of the dam and half rho GH. Rho GH is the pressure increase halfway down in the water. Right? Halfway down. So that total pressure increase all the way to the bottom would be rho GH. Guys, is that right? Am I right? That's H. Okay. That is H, and the total pressure increase all the way down to the bottom would be rho G H right at the bottom. But it's half rho G H. Because the pressure increases linearly with depth, this term, half rho G H, represents the average value of the pressure increase between the surface and the bottom. And so his answer makes sense. 
Okay, so this is the total force. It is the two pressures multiplied by the surface area.